Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have a Dollar Tree haul for you today. Nothing gigantic, but I do have iced coffee. My Sarah brought me that. All right, it's nothing giant, but it is fun and it's my pre-vacation Dollar Tree haul. So let's get started. First and foremost, I got a sign. I don't need a bunch of signs, but I obviously needed this one. And it says, friends gather here. And it has hot cocoa and a pumpkin spice latte. And this is gonna go on my front porch and my pumpkins when I decorate for fall. That's a good thumbnail, right? Luna's here, so is Sarah. They're downstairs. I grabbed two foam core boards in black. There has been like, I haven't been able to find them and I have a project coming up for uh, advent calendar and I needed those and I wasn't able to find them at my local store. So when I saw them, I just grabbed them. Okay. I think a lot of this is seasonal home decor type stuff, but let's see. And I went to a bunch of different stores. Um, I got this ribbon, the red and the green, and these come in five yard spools. And I got these also for the advent calendar that I'm making. I'm not sure what color I'll need, but I grabbed one of each. A uh, nice red and a Christmas green. They'll come in handy. And then I found this yarn. Now I use this yarn when I do um, finishing on my cross stitch projects, if I make little pillows, but this is so fun. And it's such a nice fall color. Um, you could also, knit crochet with it but they had it in this orange a brown a burgundy and a cream and i love the pumpkin orange maybe i'll crochet something i don't know for in the halloween section i got some stickers well these are not stickers these are rub-on transfers but look at the vintage feel to these but wait to see the next one but i love the crows and um the potion bottles for sure, the skulls, and then the little haunted house down here. These are so fun. But look at these, vintage. The black cat, look at that owl. That owl is literally everything. And then obviously trick or treat, the words, some pumpkins, some snakes, but just this whole vintage vibe. And I think you just get the one sheet. Um, it's a transfer, so you rub it, you know, rub it off on them. So I grabbed those just to do some Halloween stuff. I'm kind of feeling the vibe. I don't know. I don't know what's happening here, guys. I found the mushrooms in brown, and I'm going to take them out. I had them in a different color, but I really wanted a more earthy tone. I will tell you, they're styrofoam. You could... The girl at the place asked me what I was going to do with them. You could take a skewer and just shove it in the butt and put them in a or in like a arrangement or to help you arrange them in your tiered tray or you could just lay them down or you could sit them in a pot or in some wood. I just thought these were fantastic and I love that the brown. I didn't care for like the pastel bright colored ones, but I love these earthy colored ones. Oops, excuse me. So I grabbed uh, two packages in the brown and I'll see if they have any other like an orange would be great, but I love the brown. So I grabbed those just to decorate my tiered tray for fall and there's nothing I have to do with those, which I like a lot. And then I grabbed one more of this pumpkin. I'm just loving the texture of this like raffia. I think it is. Is it raffia or is it like? I'm not sure, it just says natural pumpkin picks. But I love the texture of it, of that pumpkin. And again, tear trays, you could cut the bottom off, you could put these in a display, you could just lay them out. There's a million things you can do with these. Um, and I have already picked up a couple, so I just wanted to grab a couple more as I see them because I'm not really seeing them too terribly much in the store. Um, food wise, I don't feel like I got a lot. Actually, I didn't get a lot of anything, but food wise, they had a different tuna, lemon, sesame, ginger. 
I love this packaging. There's a spoon or it's actually a spork up here that you can eat this plain tuna with. And it is a two and a half ounce serving. One, only one gram of fat. There is three carbohydrates in this, but this is a meal for me. Um, they did add a little bit of sugar, not a big deal. 70 calories, but there are 13 grams of protein in this. And this is what I need. So for my upcoming trip to um, England, I'm just going to throw these in my luggage to have with me when I am out and about because it's not always easy for me to find low carb stuff. So I grabbed two of those and then I always am picking these up because they're great just to have whenever. And these are the Tillamook um, meat sticks. There are no preservatives. These, this one specifically, I think has one carbohydrate in it, nine proteins. The pepperoni and the teriyaki have a lot more sugar. So I try to stick with just the original and these. And I will tell you the best buy date on this is March of 2024. So I have plenty of time. It is a product of Thailand. Um, they had lots of flavors and I know I can get these anywhere, but I just happen to have seen them at the Dollar Tree. So I picked those up. And then also for my trip, I grabbed, this is for my overseas trip. I grabbed some Lysol wipes for the airplane. Um, if you are traveling any type of public transportation, I will say, or if anybody's in your car, these are great. I plan on wiping my seat and my tray table in front of me in that whole like area because nobody cleans the tray tables. They're gross and full of germies. And so having these handy and you get 15 wipes and they're just lemon, lime, blossom scent and they will stay in my backpack as well. And then I'll get some other wipes for like to wipe my hands and stuff. But this is for specifically for keeping the area around my airplane. If I'm sitting anywhere waiting in between flights on public transportation, if my hands, you know, I'm just saying. There's nothing wrong with having some Lysol wipes. So that's for my upcoming trip, which I'm so nervous for. Um, I'm not nervous for travel. I'm nervous because I've never taken this big of a trip on this short amount of time before. <laughs> Makes me nervous. Okay. In this bag, I found, and now this, I don't think this is new, but I've never seen it at any of my stores. It's chicken wire. You get a small roll of chicken wire and you get 12 inches by 50 inches. That's a decent sized piece of chicken wire. And I think it'll be fun, especially for fall, to put on the back of a like a ornate picture frame and then maybe hang things from it or just sit it up. I don't know, I like the idea of it. We're gonna come up with something to do. Um, if you get this, just be careful when you're cutting it and dealing with it because it can be sharp, I know that. And I just grabbed two because I feel like that should be plenty for any projects that I would like to do coming up with some chicken wire. I, didn't, I hadn't seen this at my store and I feel like other people have shown it. It just hasn't made it. Sorry for my squeaky chair. I gotta get my other one up here. Ha people haven't shown it in a while. Also, I found in the Halloween section, what? Sprinkles. Like how fun is this? And you're not buying these for $1.25 at Walmart or anywhere else. And you get two and a half ounces, which would be perfect for cupcakes or cookies or anything that you're going to decorate for people. Oh, somebody's hollering for me. One minute. I'm back. Oh, and I have crazy hair today. Sorry. Okay. Then I found, again, these were out last Halloween or last fall, but my store never saw them. So they got them in this year. And it's just the wooden beads, which I love wooden beads for a lots of different stuff. And I love this size, but also look at how many you get. Like this is a nice piece of garland, like beaded garland. Personally, I would probably take it apart because I would want to paint the beads, but this is a lot of beads for $1.25. And if you're not using it as garland, which again, you can wrap it in your tear tray, you can put it on your mantle, on a shelf, hang it. Um, it's a nice quality and quantity of the wooden beads. And I love the size of the beads and you get many, many more of these than you got the square ones. But if you bought the square ones with the, um, the ocean theme, um, 
the square beads, they'll kind of go together. So I like that and I grabbed two of them just to have, you know, beads. I'm a two, I'm a two for kind of girl. Then I found, and this is new to my store and I don't know if they just got them as an overstock, but they're, I mean, I know I buy these at Wall, like Joanne and stuff, but these are just a variety pack of beads. And then they had them in the green. And I grabbed them to do my hat pins for cross stitching stuff. I can also use them. And they had green, black, and then they had some little like silver and white ones and another package. But I just grabbed these two because I thought they were super fun. But I don't, are these? They're from the Czech Republic. Yeah, these are not Greenbrier. Yeah, these are not Greenbrier brand. So they must have purchased some kind of an overstock, but you get a lot of beads in here, a variety of sizes and shapes. And I thought these would be super fun. So I grabbed just one of each of those. And then, and then I grabbed uh, the maple leaf wooden ornaments. Um, I'm going to Canada twice next year. And I think for my second retreat, I'm going to use these as a table make gift to make like an ornament. It could be like a Christmas ornament and decorate it up for um, my table make gift next year. And I just wanted to have them so I could work on them over the year. And you get eight, so I have 24, which I think is a, enough to test out what I'm going to do and make some for my table make gifts. So these are... I know here we use maple leaves in the fall, but that's the that's the Canadian state or the national symbol of Canada. Does that make sense? Canadians help me. They like the maple leaf. So I grabbed some of those just to, to have on hand. Um, not for not for Halloween, but not for Halloween's giving. Just to have on hand. Oh, I love these beads, guys. I love beads. Got that. All right, we're down to the to the last little bits and pieces of stuff that I found at my stores. Like I said, there wasn't a whole ton of stuff, but there was plenty to show you for a little mid-week video. Oops, stuck. I have labels and things. Okay, first off, I picked up these. These were in the wedding section. And you get six of these. But I feel like this doesn't have to just be for a wedding. They also have the bigger boxes and you get four. But Christmas is coming, guys. And can you imagine, this is not what I'm doing for my Advent this year. But if you wanted to do like a 12-day Advent or even a 24-day Advent. I'm fixing the box. You could buy these. You could just tape them flat. But how they really go, uh, there we go. And look, it's a little heart on it. And it's a perfect little box. But honestly, you could just cut. I'm going to take it apart. You could just cut it here and here and take the box down and glue these. And you would have 12 or 24 little gifts for Christmas boxes or for anything. I just think these are pretty fantastic. I'm trying to take it apart without breaking it because I want to use these for little treasures. Also, you could use them to put candies in if somebody comes to your house. Okay, well, I'm going to break it is what I'm going to do. All right, there we go. So you get six of them, but like over the holidays, even not the holidays, somebody comes or you have a little gift you want to give or you're making little treats, you could put them in here. I think they're a perfect size box. They are 2.75 inches by 2.75 inches. And I think that is pretty fantastic. And you get six of them and they're pretty. And you can make them your own. You know, this is just the base for all the different things that you would like to do. All right, let's put that in here. Then I got, I don't know if this is new or not, but I picked it up. Some owl ribbon because they're cute and it's fall. This is not Grogain. It almost looks like a linen with a little gold edging on it. Um, it is from the fall section and you get 108 inches or nine feet, which is typical of the Dollar Tree Little Ribbons. So I grabbed that. 
And then I have two things left. I'm dying, guys. Look at this little fox. It's pretty heavy. I don't know if he's like ceramic or something or plastic, but he's got weight to him. It's a little fox and he has a little apple. Now they have the fox, they have a squirrel and they have a hedgehog. Oh, I'm dying. He is definitely going on my tear tray because why not? Look at him. We love him or my mantle, but I think he's adorable. So I grabbed him. And then I found at my store, these are called felted, they're faux felt. So they're not really felted, they're a fabric, but they're made to look like felted wool. And I love the colors, this like sea foamy mint. And then there's a, like a lightish orange color. And then I got this like burgundy color. And I think I'm gonna put these in my kitchen. This, and maybe with the fox, I don't know. I need a pumpkin, like I need a hole in my head. I got a box of pumpkins and I'm getting rid of a bunch this year, but I didn't have any of this pumpkin. And I thought this was fun for this season to go with the crocheted ones or knitted or whatever they are and the other textures. Cause I'm all about the texture and these are like fabric-y. Um, so yeah, that was it. That is everything I got at the Dollar Tree this week. I'm gonna try to go to the Dollar Tree while I'm on vacation and see what treasures I can find. There's also another store I want to go to called Pop Shelf, and that is part of the Five Below family. We do not have one here, but there is one at Myrtle Beach, so we're going to go to that and check it out and go to a one or two Dollar Trees maybe real quick just to check out and see what they have while I'm on vacation. All right, you guys, you have a good time, and you have a good day, and I will talk with you later. Bye!